Okay. <laughs> Yay! Here we go. Hello and welcome to the Sam and Ryan channel. My name is Sam. I have the kids today. We are going to be indulging in our Broadway fan behavior. You know why? Because I think too many of us lose sight of that. I think it is very important to indulge in what brings you joy and to not call it silly. I have such a habit of explaining something I'm excited about or passionate about to someone and being like, I know it's silly, but stop it. You know what's not silly? Making a Broadway boyfriend tier list. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Let's get into the tiers. Bottom tier, jail. Self-explanatory. We're keeping it simple, we're only doing four tiers. So the tier up from that, I'm gonna make one act. Maybe you like them in act one. Maybe you like them in act two. But their strengths or their boyfriend material status really only lands in one of those acts. Next tier up from that, pretty obvious, boyfriend. Just Broadway boyfriend material. Good boyfriend. I feel like the top tier has to be marriage because what's a step up from a boyfriend? A husband. I guess maybe you would consider fiancé a step up, but you know what I mean. So without further ado, we are just going to kind of rapid fire our way through this tier list. I will say I gathered names of Broadway men. Not Broadway men, characters. I'm not, I'm not doing a tier list of Broadway actors that I think would be good boyfriends. I'm doing a tier list of Broadway characters. Did I? Was that self-explanatory? Did I even need to say that? I tried to grab characters that I'm familiar with enough in order to actually like rank them on this list. First up, we have to start with Fiero. We have to. Wicked was the first musical I was ever like really introduced to and the guy in the tight white pants can do no wrong. I know Fiero enters the story very arrogant, but I feel like his growth actually happens pretty quickly in school with Alphaba. I know he's not all things considered a very like well um developed character you just kind of like see him in the little glimpses but that's because wicked isn't really about him anyway i think everything we know about fiero makes him either boyfriend or husband material he's able to grow as a person we see his character change he is supportive he will stand up to do what's right it might take him some time but he'll get there and uh spoilers if you haven't seen wicked He'll run off and hide away with you forever. You're all he needs, baby girl. Yeah, hot take. I'm put, I, I'd marry him. I'm putting him top tier. He can sing. He can dance. He's a little cocky. Next up, we have probably the second musical theater character that I developed a weird crush on. Phantom. Jail. Jail. Listen, I know we all think we can fix him. Jail. Murders. Come on. He essentially imprinted on a young child, like manipulated her because she like lost her father at a young age. You know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not there guys. I love to empathize with a villain, but jail. The all I ask of you reprise though, kill me. Well, don't kill me, but kill me. All right, I'm getting this one out of the way because we have to talk about it. JD, stop simping over murderers. I get it. Like the Phantom, we think we can fix him. But stop it. In theory, you want a guy that'll kill for you. In reality, that's murder. That's actual murder. He was trying to blow up an entire school. We don't support that here on the Sam and Ryan channel. Jail. Keeping in with the phantom theme, Raul. Listen, a young lover returned, seeing his childhood lover shine as a star, so supportive, only wants her, literally almost dies for her. Raul, or as Emmy Rossum would say in the movie, Raul. No, Raul. Raul really does no wrong unless I am fully blanking on something. I remember watching this movie and listening to the musical as a child thinking like, Raul's like preventing their love. Like Raul's preventing Phantom from being with Christine. Yeah, as he should, <laughs> as he literally should. I marry Raul. Yep, top tier for me. You guys know how I feel about a man in a pillowy white shirt though. 
I mean, let me tell you something. I don't know what they call that stuff, but that little, like, caramel, man. You know, stop playing. I mean, if they give me one right now, tear it up live. Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> Ambitious. Will make a name for himself. Will he accidentally also make a name for you, maybe in the ways that you don't want him to? Yes. I'm referring to the Reynolds pamphlet. So, cheater. Liar. In love with your sister the whole time. <laughs> As he proved in the Reynolds pamphlet, I don't think he actually committed a crime, so I'm not gonna send him to jail, but he's definitely one act. You know, you're, you're rooting for him when he's young and hungry and trying to get the girl, and then unfortunately, he's a lying, dirty, dirty cheater. So, no, one act. Eliza literally did nothing wrong too. She was so there, I just, I can't even. She was, Eliza was Camilla, if you're a fan of Daisy Jones and the Six, that's, She's on the same level as Camilla in my brain. King George! I don't know why I felt the need to include him on this list. I think just I was thinking about men, musical theater, Jonathan Groff. We'll go to battle for you. But do you actually want that? Again, it's like, the, it's the murder thing. It's like, oh, he could have battle for me, but like, oh my God, you're going to battle for me. Ah, maybe we should talk about this. In jail. Orpheus from Hades Town. Now listen, we love a poet, we love a romantic. However, oh my god, dude, put your guitar down and pay attention to your girlfriend. Like, I come on. Once they actually get together in Hades Town, it's just like insufferable how neglected Eurydice is. It's a tragedy. It's a sad song. He's a romantic, but then when he gets the girl, he ignores the girl and then loses the girl. Spoilers. Sorry. It's a tragedy. Again, I told you it was sad. Ah, I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna put Orpheus in one act, not gonna lie. His trust isn't there. I'm referring to the end. We love him, but ultimately he fails us. So one act. That's probably gonna be the hottest take in this video. Cinderella's Prince from Into the Woods. Now listen, for just a romp in the woods? Sure. Boyfriend material? No. Definitely don't marry him. He was like so willing for Cinderella once they got together to just like run off and leave him. He was like, eh, okay, sure. Yeah, just tell everyone you died. That's okay. Like, well, and you know, the infidelity of it all. So we're gonna hit him with a one act. I don't think he deserves jail time, but truly one act just being agony. Like I'm a sucker for a prince, but really, yeah, that's all he's good for. Christian Moulin Rouge. Let me marry this man. Does he get a little crazy, pun intended, when he's drinking the Green Fairy? Yes, but it is just because he loves you so much. Personally, I love the movie more than the stage production. I had so much fun seeing the stage musical. I saw it twice. So much fun, but I love the movie more. Ewan McGregor, till I die, marry. Really, I think the only flaw he kind of has is his pride to a certain degree. It's supposed to be a secret relationship between them at a certain point, and I think his jealousy and his pride do get the best of him, but like, we can work through that. We can. I don't care. Mary. Up next, we have such a solid Broadway boyfriend, Emmett from Legally Blonde. Oh my god. He is supportive. He doesn't try to change Elle. You might be thinking like, Sam, what are you talking about? He literally makes her like clear off her vanity so she can make room for textbooks. He's helping her. He's not trying to change her. Never once does he try to actually change her. That's the best thing. But he supports her and he wants to help her get what she wants. Iconic. He helps her. He stands up for her. He lets her shine in her own spotlight. And he hits you with that little bit of what's called the L. And it's iconic and we love it every time. Marry him. Marry him. Danny Zuko from Greece. This is the most just boyfriend tier boyfriend I think there is. It's high school. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, like she had to change for him. High school. We all tried to change ourselves so many times to fit in in high school. So I'm not gonna hold that against him because guess what? That was Sandy's choice. Was not a great situation. I hate that she changed for him. And I hate that he was embarrassed of her in some ways. Was it better off being a summer fling? Maybe. But I think Danny Zuko would be a solid boyfriend. Do I think you're gonna end up with him? No. Do I think you're gonna break up at the end of high school? Yeah. 
So he'll just go on the boyfriend here. Dimitri from Anastasia. I'm already kicking my feet. Is he a lying con man? Yeah, but he has a great song. <laughs> no, it's hard because I literally can't recall if he is knowingly lying to her the whole time. I know that for most of the journey, he's kind of lying by like convincing her like, yeah, you're the niece, you're the, you're the person she's looking for, oh my gosh. But then it's actually revealed that like, no, she is the real person. I'm not gonna do a great job explaining this plot. Cause I also know that the plot changed a little bit in the musical versus the movie, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm also kind of thinking about movie Dimitri right now. The lines are blurred in my brain. Does he have a shady past? Sure. Is he kind of a liar? Yeah. Does he eventually come around? Yeah. He's also just so handsome. In every iteration. Stage. Animated cartoon. I'm trying to decide between the top tier and boyfriend. I, I think he would make a great boyfriend. He's caring. Strong-willed. Witty. I hate to break it to all of us, but I don't know that he's screaming marriage material to me. There are some trust issues there. I'm so sorry. I really hate to do this to us, but I think he's just going to be a boyfriend. I think he's a great boyfriend who, you know, you summer Europe with and it's fantastic. But in the end, you know that it's not meant to be. Hey, thank you so much for indulging me in this video. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Please let me know what Broadway boyfriends I left out of this tier list. I'm sure there are thousands. You're probably like, Bobby from Company, Jack Kelly from Newsies. I, I'm sure, I'm sure you are so right. But let me know in the comments so that I can read them. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you here on the Sam and Ryan channel sometime soon. Bye.